Hi friends, welcome to my channel Optimetry Online. The topic for today's video is Duochrome Test. We'll see what is underlying concepts beyond Duochrome Test and we'll uh, see what how this Duochrome Test apply in our optometric practice. The basic principle behind the Duochrome Test is the chromatic aberration. So you all know what is a chromatic aberration. So the, when the white light it gets uh, is refracted by any optical surface, the white light will get separated into two dif different wavelength or colors. So ideally what happens is when white light comes, so they get separated into, like with your color, they get separated into different wavelength components where the shorter wavelength like the blue color gets focused in front and the longer wavelength gets focused behind. The same thing happens in our eye also. So when a white light strikes the optical surface like eye, the, the optical components, they disperse the white light into different wavelengths like the blue color comes focuses in front and the red color focuses behind the retina so the in suppose the like eye is an emetropic eye the yellow green color get focuses on the retina whereas the blue color in front and the red color and the behind the retina the short and the long wavelength focuses accordingly and the total dispersion accounts to around two diopters of refractive error so when is this duochrome test is done so it is basically it is not a color vision test and it can be done for even a color blind people also the main ultimate aim for the duochrome test is to assess the end point of refraction. This test is very, very sensitive, even to a 0.25 change in refraction also. So that is why it gives a very major clue as to whether the refraction which has been prescribed is adequate or not. So why the red color green color is used? Because the wavelength difference of them gives 0.4 diopters on either side. So you can easily judge whether it is overcorrected or undercorrected. So in an uncorrected myope, the myopes will see a duochrome red color better. Whereas in uncorrected high profs, they see duochrome green color better. So it's very essential for identification of overcorrection of myopia. The test procedure, the duochrome test is ideally done after the subjective refraction is done. So we're supposed to dim the room lights for the better appreciation. The patient is asked the following question. In which of the color background, the letters you see appears very sharper, darker and clearer. So this is how uh, a simulated uh, examination room where the patient is asked in which of the color background, either the red or the green, the patient says, I see red is better compared to the green. So what you have to do is when the patient says red is better, you usually add a minus 0.25 spherical lens so that the green color also becomes better. So you're, you're going to match both the spectrums. So by adding minus 0.25 spherical lens, both of them becomes equally clear. So this red color is better seen in undercutted myope or a overcutted hypro. In a clinical situation, if you see from example, suppose a patient's subjective refraction is minus 2.5 cylinder at 90 and the patient says red color is better, then you add minus 0.25 spherical to the spherical correction and we don't disturb the cylindrical correction. So the final end point of the refraction is minus 2.25 spherical with 0.5 cylinder at 90. The second uh, is clinical setting where the patient says I see Uh, green is more prominent than the red color then mm. what you add is plus 0.25 lens to the existing subjective refraction and this adding 0.25 makes the both of the red and green colors clear so this situation is seen in undercorrected hyperop or a overcorrected myo say a clinical example when a patient says uh, suppose the patient is having a refractive error of plus 3.25 and 0 0.5 cylinder at 190 and the patient says green is better then we add a plus 0.25 spherical to the spherical correction. So it makes a final endpoint to us plus 3.5.590. So this is for the duochrome test. The take home message is duochrome should always be red better or can be balanced and it is not recommended to be green better. That's all for video today. If you like my video kindly like share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.